with movement prep number seven. So without further ado, uh, this could actually be a warm up or cool down. I just worked out, so it's gonna be cool down for me. Very, very first one is some shaking. So we're just gonna start by rocking in our feet, and then we can start bouncing in our feet, and then we can move and shake, or shake and jiggle, and get everything in there. You can close your eyes, you keep your eyes open. I'm trying to do this for 30 seconds. I won't do it for 30, but just let, let everything go. Watch out for what's in front or behind you. All right, now we're gonna move on into 10 total Cossack lunges. So what a Cossack lunge is, deep side lunge, that bent knee, flat foot, but then the extended leg, toes go up to the sky, and then we're gonna transfer over, and we're gonna move into the other side. You'll notice I have ankle mobility, so this doesn't get down right away, but then I just adjust and move listening to my body, feeling that stretch through the inner thigh. You can do this higher up as well. You don't have to be super low down. You can use a bench or a chair to help with your uh, mobility and balance over time. Also, my goal is arms up. I'm still working on that. Then we're gonna move onto the ground into a side line quad stretch. So lie down on your side, rest your head, and you're gonna bring your heel towards your bum, grab your foot, and from here, we're actually just pulling that quad or the knee back to stretch through the quad, in and out. It's active, isolated stretching. So we're moving in and out of that quad stretch. Eight on each side. I'll switch sides, so I'm balanced. Again, in and out. Notice how my spine is staying the same. I'm not arching or trying to manipulate through my spine to deepen the stretch. It is simply from the hip. So it might be a small movement for you. Could be a really big one. I'm gonna try and keep that knee on the same plane, so not lifting up as we go through that stretch. Then we're gonna go into a half kneeling sprinter stretch. You see this in all, almost all of my movement preps, but they're always needed. Use a mat to support your knees. From here, half kneeling stance. We want to stack our knee over our ankle, knee underneath the hip. We can reach up nice and high, and we're going to push by squeezing the butt cheek, pushing the hip forward, and then releasing as we reach up high towards the sky. We we'll go for eight on each side. I'm just going to do four. And remember, my left knee's down, left arm is up to the sky making the longest line possible. Good. Eight on each side. Then we're gonna go into a 30 second tall plank hold. So spread your hands, your fingers nice and wide to get as much grounding as you can. Stack your shoulders over the top of your wrists and then step out into that top plank. You could always go from your knees if you need to. Goal is obviously from your toes, and on the trick, push those heels back as if they're trying to get down to the ground. 30 second hold here. All right. And then you can do this one kneeling or standing. Your choice, you can do eight on each side, active isolated neck stretches. So bring your hands down by your side. I'm gonna left ear to left shoulder. Gentle tug with my fingertips. Exhaling as we go through that stretch. Good. Eight on each side. We're locking that non-working arm down so the shoulder doesn't follow up. And then we're going to shoulder check. Have the long hand. Eight on each side again. Gentle exhale as we go through that stretch. And then if you want, you could go through uh, looking up. It's just a gentle look up. We can do passive as well. Or a little bit of traction by holding the front pack. Jump the chin to the sky and deepen that stretch. 
eight on each side. And then we're gonna make our way to standing. So from here, we're gonna go into a chest opener, but we're gonna lay against the wall. We're gonna do bent elbow. So 90 degrees, an elbow, in and out, opening that chest, turning away, getting that good feel. Eight on each side, switch to the other side. And you'll see there's mobility issues on one side versus the other. You'll find it too. So maybe just put a little extra love into that side. And be aware of those tensions. And then we're going to do a side bend. So you can do just a little bit wider than hip width stance. We're going to reach over, reach nice and high over high. I always think of like 1980s jazzercise videos with this or an SNL skit of some sort, I'm sure. Eight on each side. For these, feeling that good stretch to the obliques. And there you go. So obviously don't cut your reps short like I did. I just cut them short for the video. So you're not standing there watching me the whole time. But that is movement part number seven. Have a good one. Again, it can be warm up or cool down or both, whatever works best. Have a great day.